Hey guys, uh, first I want to apologize about the mess that's behind me. This is my workspace, so that's all my fabrics and all my crap just pushed to the side. Um, second, this update, even though it's going to be titled TTC and everything, um, has not too much to do about actually trying to conceive. Um, we got big news. We're very excited to announce this. Um, we will be a mommy and daddy next year. However, it's not the way we planned. Um, we are going to be adopting. Uh, my sister is pregnant at the moment, and she does not believe that she can take care of this child the way it needs to be taken care of. And after a lot of consideration and a lot of thought behind it, she decided that she wanted to adopt out the baby to me and Roger. So that's what, what's going on now. Um, this doesn't mean that we're, we've stopped trying. We are still doing our fertility treatments. We are still going in Monday to get all the information about our different tests and to figure out where to go to from here. So we're still trying to conceive. However, we will indeed be a mommy and daddy um, next year. The baby is due in May, May 13th if I'm correct. My sister will be having a C-section, so the day may be a little bit different. Like all um, births. But, um, but yeah, so we, we're going to be doing that. I will be updating um, our adoption story as we go as, long, as well as the um, TTC journey. So those two are now interconnecting. We're hoping that by the end of next year we will um, be a, um, uh, I hope I'll be a mommy of two, um, if not a mommy of one and expecting number two. Uh, we don't know the gender of the baby yet. We are hopefully going to find out before Christmas, so we'll be able to update that for Christmas. We don't really know um, anything else uh, when it comes to the adopting part. We do know um, names that we want to give the baby. My sister gave us all rights to name the baby, seeming we'll be adopting it. And we know the theme of the uh, nursery. We, we were thinking about just doing one of the two themes or one of the names that, we had, that I had talked about in the last video. However, we decided that we wanted to do a different theme for this baby. We wanted this baby to have its own individual um, kind of, I don't know how to put it. We just wanted them to be individual from the our trying to see baby. Um, and I don't know if this sounds like rude or like we're excluding this baby because it's not biological or not. That's not the case. We just fit, we just feel that this is the best way to go about it. It's giving this baby um, a whole new uh, theme and every and name than what we had already chosen. So if we have a little, if it if it's a little girl, we're gonna name her Ave Marie, and if it's a little boy, his name's gonna be Nicholas. And no matter the gender, we're doing a Lion King theme. We keep seeing all these little Lion King nursery items at Walmart and at um, Babies R Us and things like that, and they're just so cute. So we are going with the uh, Lion King theme, and uh, in the next few months, we will be completely redoing our bedroom because currently our living situation, we uh, live with the in-laws, with my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and uh, brother-in-law. And we have a, we lit our stay in the room that was converted from a garage while they have pretty much the rest of the house and there's only three bedrooms. So unless the 18-year-old brother-in-law moves out in the next few months, which we don't really see happening, uh, the baby will be staying with us until we uh, save up to go to move out to a new house or until they move out till we move out, something like that. So we were going to be completely rearranging the room. I do think that I am going to do a before and after shot um, later down the line. Uh, right now, the before shot would be of a messy room because I have to clean. And I decided to do this video before cleaning. So, but, um, yeah. So we're going to be doing it. I'm going to do a before and after shot um, when it gets closer to when the baby's going to be here. So probably, I don't know, March-ish I'll do it before and after because by then we'll probably already have the nursery set up or in the area of the nursery. 
which will, which will be um, kind of parted off from the rest of the room. Uh, we, I will be talking about, I don't know if I said this already in the video, sorry if I'm repeating myself. I will be talking about the adoption and the adoption process and everything, as well as uh, my RTTC journey in this one vlog. So this vlog has just like expanded from just trying to have our first child to trying to have our first biological child and adopting our first um, our first child. So that's where it's going to. Um, yeah, I think that's really all I have to say. On the trying to conceive end, there's not too much to say. My appointment to find out all of our test uh, results aren't until Monday. We don't know if I've ovulated. I have no idea how to tell. I would take um, ovulation predictor te uh, tests. However, they are not um, truthful when you have PCOS. Um, so that doesn't help us figure anything out. And I was thinking... Of, I thought before to try following uh, the cervical mucus, the cervix position, telling when you're cramping everything. However, I always cramp. That's not a good way. Cervical position sucks. Um, and looking for CM is not only disgusting in my opinion, but once again, it's not reliable. I will go from egg white. Sorry if this is TMI. I'll go from egg white cervical mucus to creamy to watery all within the same day sometimes. So that's not reliable. We are, however, going with a pattern to make sure that we cover every day. Um, like we're not we're not doing it every day, but we are covering the weeks and everything to make sure that um, no matter what, there is a chance of getting pregnant this cycle. Um, so that's all I have on both the adoption and the, uh, trying to conceive. I am going to post a picture right here of the, uh, ultrasound we do have of, um, our soon-to-be baby. My sister recently gave it to me, so I will post that so you can see. If you guys want to make a guess, if it's a boy or a girl, comment down below. Uh, we will be finding out before Christmas or right after Christmas. And when we find out, I will go through, see how many people comment, if any, um, what they said, what they think. And I will post winners or whoever the first five or six, if we get that many, um, on the screen. Just fun game, right? <laughs> okay, so talk to you guys next week. Monday I will be getting a video filmed and hopefully up to tell you everything that we learned at the doctor's. Um, till then, bye.